Today marks our 10th day on our family adventure, and after the past couple days, we were in much need of a full reset. It's important always to do small resets throughout your trip, whether first in the morning, at a fuel stop, or even at the end of the day. But on longer trips like this, it's nice to take a day off. Take care of cleaning out your rigs, reorganize, perhaps take a proper shower, and do some much needed laundry. Today is day 10 of our adventure and it's a reset day. We are at a KOA outside of Ure. So we went to the hot springs last night. Um, it was late in the day. It was probably like 6 o'clock. We stayed there till 7.38. Didn't leave us much time to find camp so we just went to the easy button, went to a KOA. We needed to do laundry. We needed to reset the Jeep and reset the camper. Uh, so now I have all my stuff out and I uh, got a little broom cleaning things up uh, so it's a well needed reset day and then after today actually later today we should probably be hitting the road um, somewhere back east we're gonna start heading back east to home um, I don't know how far we're gonna get maybe short of Denver is probably our plan and maybe spend some time in Denver we'll see this KOA has uh, horses which is it's off a lovely smell in the middle of the day, but all in all, really quiet and peaceful campsite. While I was resetting the Jeep, Andrea worked on resetting our kitchen, giving our dishes a thorough clean, in addition to running all of her clothes through a washer and dryer. All right, we are all finished with the reset. We're gonna run into, or we at, or at Ure, and we're gonna get some groceries and check out the town. Although we did not spend much time in Ure, the town had a great vibe. Yes, the town was touristy, but it was fun to wander the main stretch of town, which was filled with fun shops to explore. Each one of our trips, we let our kids purchase something as a memory for the trip, and in Ure, we did just that. Now early afternoon, we headed east to start our track back home. We navigated through multiple miles of traffic and road construction. And about an hour outside of Denver, we started to explore for camp. And what a camp we found. All right, so we made it just over. Man, you get so, get so dusty riding along with me. Um, so we are in, just made over the Montrose Pass. I forget all these names, sorry if I'm butchering them. And uh, we went down one of the forestry roads. We're below 9,000 feet. Oh, hello. Hello, and we, uh, we found, I think we're actually like on the Colorado Trail. I'll put some things you're below. Wanna, you're gonna wanna come see this. Cool. What an amazing camp we found. The weather was perfect, the sound of the river was awesome, and it was nice to tuck into camp and enjoy the evening. And if I'm honest, it is sometimes difficult to keep harmony on multi-day trips with the family. We find it's important to still take time for yourself, take a break, whether it's a short hike by yourself or finding a space around camp to relax. Cool, dude. What a beautiful campsite. Uh, kids are still playing. Andrea's taking a break in the camper reading her book and uh, just sitting here in my chair listening to the stream next to me. Um, and it's been pretty quiet. There is, we're right next to the road. Um, but we've only had a couple of vehicles go by and pretty slow at that, so hopefully it'll be a quiet night. 
and uh, looks like clear skies, so it should be a good one. This camp was a great find and was difficult to leave, but we needed to continue our journey east. And Caroline's request was to see Denver. Okay, so let's get you up to speed here. So we traveled uh, from our dispersed camp um, into Denver. It was a short, maybe three, four hours, but Caroline really wanted to see downtown Denver. Uh, so we got this, I think it's like Chatfield State Park, um, just outside of Southwest Denver area. So we got that camp early, ate some lunch. We went into town, explored the capital, um, did some other stuff around town and then came back and swam at the lake here just kind of enjoyed the afternoon uh, we've been running pretty hard so everyone's still sleeping so i think yesterday was nice relaxing day and uh and sleeping in but i think i'll let you watch that and then i'm gonna make some coffee over there all right what would you like for picnic dinner tonight would you like a turkey and cheese? Ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. Okay. We set up camp, headed into downtown Denver, and what better place to visit than the Capitol building? It's like 
Back at camp, the day was hot, and we took full advantage of hanging out by the water. Amongst all of our friends. It is a beautiful day. Uh, not too sure what we're going to do today. We're probably going to head north into Boulder. Um, I know Caroline wanted to see Boulder as well, so we might go check that out. And then um, maybe a little bit farther north, or we might start heading east back home. We'll see how the day and the wind leads us. So right now I'm just gonna enjoy this morning. With little research and motivated by a TV series Caroline has been watching, we stopped into Boulder, Colorado we meandered through the town, driving through the college, and stumbled on the historic Pearl Street. This street was packed with boutiques, fine dining, and street entertainment. Our children gravitated to a classic toy store, and if you're a parent, you know the only solution to remove your child from said store, well, it's chocolate. You get Bob, remember? Marshmallow chocolate. Mm -hmm. Kelly, what you get? Yeah, um, chocolate dip s'more. Chocolate dip s'more or just a. Uh, um, marshmallow, sorry. Marshmallow. What'd you get, dear? A dark chocolate strawberry. Mm. And then. And I got a macadamia something. And with one sidewalk cartwheel, we were on the road again. All right, so after a quick trip in Boulder, um, we are now back on the road. Of course, at the nearest gas station, because that's what we do on these trips. There goes the mountains back there. It's always sad to see the mountains in your rearview mirror. So we are at Cabela's in... Wait, I'm gonna get a cap gun. And we're gonna get a cap gun. He didn't let me finish the intro. But we are at Cabela's right next to the corporate headquarters in Nebraska. I don't know the name of the town. I'll put it up here. Early on in our trip when we were heading out west, we stopped at a Cabela's in which Matthew wanted a classic cap gun. We passed, but this ended up being a consistent request throughout our trip. As a result, we detoured our path to head to the nearest Cabela's along our route well, back east. I don't even know if they have, they have wine here. Can mommy get a little bit of wine? <laughs> look for it. So cool. And it comes with a random belt. A belt? With a few more road miles, we found camp along Lake McConaughey. All oh, mom and dad are going on tours. So I'm here with the GoPro, bored as a nugget. Dad's yes. That was just mom. And 
worse than what I did, but I literally just said feed the yeah, yeah. is the other woman. Please subscribe to our channel. So where you can't see the dots. That was one. Fed and clean, we moved up to the rooftop tent to embrace the Nebraska storm that rolled in for the night. Uh, is this weird dome thing? There's a dome. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's put this cap on. Keep them off. Lightning in the thunder, 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 for the thunder. Lightning in the thunder, thunder. <laughs> Shades blared. All right, in lightning fashion, we loaded up camp because it is raining. Rain most of the, well, I don't know, most of the night. Some of the night, right? It's just some of the night. And it's definitely raining. It probably won't last. Last, last, um, Kevin. We watched Home Alone last night up in the rooftop there? tent. Yeah. And now we're going to drive to the bathrooms. Make a quick stop and then hit the road. <laughs> so we are just outside of Omaha, west side of Omaha. Uh, it's hot in the 90s, I'd say and we stopped at a KOA again. And I have to say, I think this is our third KOA on the trip. When you're driving through different states, not too sure about campgrounds, typically state campgrounds are pretty good, but you have to pay for a pass. Uh, KOAs deliver a consistent experience, and typically everyone that comes here wants a vacation, so they're not um, you know, loud or obnoxious or music is blaring. So we've had really good experiences at KOAs and there's so much stuff for the kids to do. Playgrounds and pools, we can do our laundry, we can take showers. Uh, it's a really good reset. So I am uh, pro KOA. Um, so right now the kids have got these little rental bikes. They're like five bucks for 30 minutes. Um, so they're gonna, they're ripping around this thing. Uh, Cause we did not bring the bikes, here goes Caroline. Um, so yeah, I think all in all, it's a good experience. It's, um, you feel taken care of. We have hookups, you know, you name it, it's good. So we're gonna spend it here today. We'll probably take a late morning tomorrow. And then we're only, uh, I don't know, like 600 miles? I think probably like 600 miles away from home yet. And then um, we'll probably do it in two days. So we'll have two more days of travel. <sighs> but yeah, it's, uh, the breeze feels good. The sun is hot. I have the awning up uh, just to get some shade while the sun is still somewhat high. It's only it's old 4 o'clock already, so at some point the awning's not going to serve any purpose, but taking advantage of what I can. So, cheers. be down here in the heat or up in the mountains in the cold? Mountains in the cold, that would be way better. Yeah, like look at it. Is there like a button in it should be like this and it should be like running swimming water. Like watch our video for Cave of the Mind. You don't understand like what this is. We want to give a shout out to David and Jim for fixing the water pump. There was a plastic bag in it. It's so now the water is like overflowing now. Water flow is good. The gems are coming out great. Shout out to David and who? Jim? Jim. Jim. And if you ever do that at home, and you're in a lake, just take like, uh, uh, like a spaghetti strainer. Put, just get a few sand in and just shuffle it out. Like, cause this is like basically your strainer. So you put it, dip it in the lake and give it a wiggle waggle and then you have gold or gems. 
Told her, Jim. Awesome. Nice work. Mom, where's pepperoni? Right here. Pepperoni and sausage. As we ventured home, we reflected on the miles we traveled, the places we visited, and celebrated the many wins of our family. Was our family vacation perfect? No. The trip had its ups and downs. Did we always get along? No. But we worked through it. Did we stick to an agenda? No. We embraced each day and pivoted, allowing the adventure to find us. Was the trip easy? No. But each challenge created a lasting memory. Are we stronger as a family? Absolutely. Do me a favor, when adventure calls, answer.